Hey guys, I'm Kevin. Welcome to Sound Advice. Last week we talked about production sound, and this week we're going to talk about Foley. Foley sounds are all the subtle movements, like people moving, picking up objects, all the little realistic sounds that you know you would normally hear in real life. It's important because this helps you even out your film and have a consistent level of believability from start to finish. There's a bunch of reasons why you may end up needing Foley in your film. Sometimes your production audio, the sound you get off set when you're filming, just won't be very good. There might be a lot of background noise. You know, you might be filming your freeway and all you hear is traffic. Sometimes you might be giving directions to an actor and then you're talking over the take and then you'll have to replace some of the sound. All right, all right. Over here, over here, me, 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 me. A great example of Foley in the sound gun short is the actual sound gun pack. Because in real life, the prop was really pretty well put together. It was pretty solid, so it didn't make any sound. But it's important for the story that we know it's all these gadgets stuck together and you should really, you know, hear something that feels like electronic and like it's thrown together. So I took all the pieces I really wanted to hear inside the sound pack and I put them in a box and then I shook that and recorded that as Foley. The most important thing to recording good Foley, it's not your equipment really, it's having a good recording space. Now, professionally, that means going to a Foley stage. They'll have sound-treated walls. There'll oftentimes be different kinds of floors that you can use to get different effects. But you can also do Foley in any room as long as it's pretty quiet. When you're doing Foley that has to be recorded outside, some sounds you just can't do indoors, just make sure it's as quiet as possible and that there's not a lot of wind. So whenever you're recording indoors, do what you can to make the space quiet. And that means if you have things like air conditioning, computer fans, turn them off because they'll pollute the sound. They'll be there constantly in the background. And that's something you're gonna have to contend with. Foley sounds are often pretty subtle. You'll be doing things like footsteps or cloth moving and having a computer on in the background really can kind of mess it up. This particular balance issue is called signal to noise ratio. Signal is the sound or the signal you wanna record and noise is not sound that you want. So if you're recording in a noisy room, like if you have your refrigerator on or whatever, that's going to be in there the whole time and that's gonna start competing with the sound you want. So as long as you have a quiet space to record in, you can use honestly almost anything to record your Foley. You can use the camera you use to shoot your short film that has a microphone built in. You can also use pretty much anything else that can record sound as long as it's halfway decent. If you have to, you can use your phone. I don't recommend it. I'll often use this guy, which is a cardioid condenser microphone. They typically have a cable sold separately, and that goes into whatever you want to use to record. One popular option for recording is to use a portable stereo recorder. I have here a Zoom H4n. There's other similar models that do the same thing, but what you want to find is a portable recorder, probably runs on batteries, uh, and it'll have a cable input. In this case, it's an XLR input, and it also can take quarter inch. In fact, it's recording the sound right now. One thing to keep in mind if you're recording fully outdoors or if you're doing something indoors that might generate wind, like moving clothing, it's good to put a little windscreen on your microphone if you have one. If you don't, it's easier to get distortion from the wind hitting the microphone. If you're trying to deal with a situation, sometimes you just might have to back up a little bit or don't point the mic directly at the source of what's making the wind. If you don't have a windscreen, you can get creative and you can get limited success with things like, like a sock. Uh, your, your mileage will vary. Professional Foley will often be performed to playback, and that means they'll be playing the movie back and they will perform the Foley live to it while recording. But you can typically get away with recording as a series, which means you just start recording, you don't have picture playback, and you do whatever action you're trying to get the Foley sound for maybe 10, 15, 20 times until you feel you have a few good choices. In the Soundgun video, I recorded as a series for pretty much everything. Here's me recording some Foley with the pillow. So here we are in Pro Tools, where I'm going to do the actual editing. Here's that original audio I recorded as a series, and when I play it back, you'll hear all the individual performances. Now let's say I like this performance here, so I'm going to copy it, paste it here, and then manually adjust the placement by hand until it finds good sync with the picture. You do this for each Foley sound, but don't worry, once you get used to it, you can do it really fast. Now here it is played back.
Now let's talk about mixing your foley. The most important thing you do is to make sure your foley is at an appropriate level, and that usually means pretty quiet. If your foley is super loud, it's gonna be really distracting, and I know it took a lot of effort to record it, but if you keep it subtle, it'll help your film be more believable. To show you how I mixed the foley for Soundgun, here's a scene with the original production audio. <laughs> Here it is with the Foley, but it's not mixed yet. And then here's the final mix. <laughs> if you're freaking out about how to mix your sound, don't worry, I'll get into that in more detail in a later sound advice video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this glimpse into the Foley process. I know it may seem like this unnatural, after-the-fact addition to your film, but it can really help your film feel much more natural and alive. Alright guys, so here's your extra credit assignment. There's a scene available for download from the Soundgun short, and I'd like you guys to try recording your own Foley, so keep in mind some things you saw in this video, like cloth movement, footsteps, the pack moving, and, you know, try recording your own stuff. And then once you got something ready, upload it, share it in the forums, and I'll pick some of the best entries. So, uh, you know, have some fun, and, uh, keep it quiet this time.